Welcome to another video podcast. In this video podcast, I'm going to evaluate the latest results in the Copa America and, of course, the Euros. So, first on the list, we have last week's game on Friday. Um, wait, a game was held Thursday night, or I'm going. Or, wait, hold on. I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, a game happened on uh, Thursday night. Yes. Argentina versus. Was it Ecuador? Yeah, Ecuador, yeah. Argentina won on penalties after 90 minutes. In this game, which was different, which I didn't expect, was that if the game stayed level, whether it was a 2-2 two, two, two draw, a nil-all draw, any draw, it was after 90 minutes, it would go straight to penalties. No extra time, no wasting of time. It would just, it would just go straight to penalties and it would go from there. So, so, and, and that's what happened between Argentina and Ecuador. Now, in the game against... No, in the game, in that game, I was expecting Argentina to to at least score at least two or three goals in that game. Huh? They had chances to actually score, and even in defense of Ecuador, they had multiple chances to put themselves in front. They weren't actually playing football against Argentina, and Argentina is classified as the best uh country football country in the world because they win World Cup. But they didn't see that side against an Ecuador side, though. Isn't they, they, they didn't look potent up top. They missed chance after chance. Both sides missed chance after chance. That's why the game went to live 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Oh, actually, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. It didn't finish 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm trying to remember the game, so forgive me, brother. I don't have the best of memory. I'm, I'm moving into my senior, senior age, so I have to forgive a brother on that. But yeah, Argentina did get a goal from our own Lissandro Martinez of Manchester United. He got his, not only did he get the only goal for Argentina in that game, but he also got his first goal for Argentina, which was a delightful moment. It was like, you know, a routine that was, that was just straight off a train. Like, you know, they, they have went through it before, they have done it before. Messi took the corner and uh, Macalisa flicked it to the far post into the part of Lissandro Martinez. It was... Not the, the Latore Martinez of Inter Milan that scored. It was Lissandro Martinez, one of four one for Manchester United. So we won. So we won. I don't support Argentina. My father do. So Argentina is in front 1-0. Mm -hmm. They would have think, say, Argentina will get another goal and another third goal to kill the game. But like I said, man, Ecuador had chances. In a Valencia, let me say this about this bedroom, man, because... <laughs> Of course, he's top scorer for his country, but you see how the you see the way how he plays and he, you know, he brings across himself every time this bridging diving. Why are you diving for? Why why are you diving, man? You're a captain, man. You're not supposed to set that example of diving every time you get the ball. I don't even think Reno's falling. You played in Houston, Texas, man. That place is hot, like a boiling pot. So why what what why 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 are you diving for what reason? And some of the, the, the dives, man, is just over. Is you overreaching the dives, man? You're doing all these theatrical movements, like you go get, like it's going to move the motion of the referee. What's up with that, man? <laughs> Why are you doing all of that? And speaking of inner violence, he had a chance to equalize the game, and his brethren. I don't even know what this guy was trying to do with the penalty. This brethren will pass the ball to the. <laughs> This bridging a pass the ball. Uh, I think he was trying to trick the keeper because they were saying that he was trying to score some no look penalty. That's the first time I've heard that no look penalty. Um, against Emmy Martinez of Argentina, but the ball goalie keep pulls. I never score. <laughs> dude, what he doing that? Just dude, here's my here's my here's my pet peeve, man. When it comes down to penalties, I must spend a couple minutes on this, or at least one minute. What's up with what's with the like when when you're about to step with these penalties? What what what's up with this extra movement? Is that supposed to fool the keep? I'm not saying it doesn't, but what's with this extra movement, man? Like like you're tipsy on the on the floor, like you you like you're standing on concrete that is hot. What what what's with this, man? And then when you're about to take the penalty, you pause like in some trance, and then go take a penalty. Now I'm not again. I'm not saying that it doesn't work, but What's with this new age, man? Lewandowski wonder could go do it. And uh, he scored the second one, which was awful now because he didn't go get knockout. But 
the first dude man what what are you doing that for man like seriously what are you doing that for i don't get it even christian ronaldo if we do it i'm going to spend uh he's going to miss penalty then he go do it in the same game in penalty shoot and him and he go score but what's with this extra thing man what what what's this what's 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 the uh the the the, the theory behind it the foundation behind it what's the new studies behind it? what is is it supposed to fully goalkeeper no so anyway, when any of any of Valencia go do that and go miss a penalty, but in the last nine seconds of that game, you think that Ed, uh, Ed of Valencia, Ecuador would have get knocked out? Not so. The substitute, the number nine for Ecuador, cross the ball into another substitute, and the other substitute go score from the header. That the substitute go cross into the box and him go score one one in the nine seconds of the game, and. You know, I think uh, it, uh, I think it could have, could have had another penalty. I'm not sure, but yeah, they e anyway they equalize and they gave into extra time penalty shooter, which is what I wanted because I wanted to see some I wanted to see some drama on my television screen. Is me and uh, um, hmm. yeah, Ed of uh, Ed of Valencia. I th no, he got take he got taken off, which is kind of. Which was kind of surprising, cause as a captain, you'd expect a captain go see go see the ninety minutes, and if you manage, and if your coach go take you off on your captain in less than nine, and you don't play the ninety minutes, that that says a lot. Is him that says a lot, man? So yeah, he di he didn't uh, survive or live to see the penalty shootout, cause he probably go miss again. But anyway, it was it was it wasn't going to make any difference because, you know. All of the penalties, if not most of the penalties taken by Ecuador, were saved by Martinez. Yep. Say what you want about Martinez. I don't like Martinez because he, he's just a wind-up, but you have to give this Virgin his fault. He's a very good goalkeeper. He can save penalties, and he's a generally good goalkeeper. And he knows, and, and there's this special trait about him where he can, he can actually not only sense the body language of the penalty kick taker, in which direction he's going to go but also he's he know how to get under the skin of the penalty kick taker he knows how to he knows how to so yeah argentina advance and they're going to play against canada again oh canada i think canada can beat argentina call me delusional hey i want to see canada in that final against uh, uruguay because uruguay go play against uh who uruguay go play against or oh, colombia and Colombia is a good side too, you know. Speaking of which, Uruguay go beat, uh, not Argentina, but they, yes, they beat Argentina's fearsome rivals, Brazil, in penalty shootouts as well. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that, that, dude, this is, this is not, I didn't watch the Brazil game against Uruguay because that was Friday night, isn't me, and, that game, man, when I saw the highlights, I didn't even watch the highlights. But the penalties, man. Brazil, man. This is not Brazil. This is not the Brazilian side of old, man. This is just like an under-20 Brazilian side. I know everything under-20 under, under 20 Brazilian side is not even that bad. They have good players, but the chemistry, the understanding, the cohesion of the players is not on the same level, man. It's it's on different floors, man. It's like on <laughs> I mean it's it's just it's just not prime Brazil the you know the way Brazil play them football. Like I said, they do have bad players, but I mean some of the players are not even goated as back back then when they had Cafu, is me, uh Ederson, um I mean they have Edison the squad. I mean I meant to say, um I don't remember but Ronaldo, you know, Ronaldinho, you know them on the uh Kaka, um Juninho, all of them players, man. Dida, I mean, come on, man. You know, Ju Julie, uh, Lucio. But they don't have them type of players, man. And they want, it, they want to bug up this young youth, this 17-year-old youth, give him number nine and, th and, and crown him king of, king of football. And he hasn't played professional football. But they want to go to him, like, big up his... Like, dude, man, see, this is one of the reasons why some, some Brazilian players don't make it. Is because the play, the young players, them, 
even if they, they do decent in the initial stage, them still are in the diaper stage. And boy, you want to big up them to be the, be the next big thing. And they don't become that next big thing. It's because of this big talk. You understand? So, I'm not saying he's the reason. And I'm not saying Edric, Edric, Edric is the reason Brazil and Ghana. But I'm saying Brazil is a spent force. They're not the same side of old. That's what I'm saying. And goodly and deservingly, you're going to go beat them in penalties. Um, and yes, so Ecuador no, got knocked out and Brazil got knocked out. So it's Uruguay versus Colombia. That's going to be some game. I'm a, I, I would like is me, Uruguay to win that game, bro. Is me, I like you, I, I like Uruguay and Colombia. Eh, I mean, it's just one of them time, it's just one of them games where. You like both sides, but you just have to pick one of them sides. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to pick Uruguay to beat Colombia in that game and go to the final. And like I said, bro, call me delusional, but I'm going with Canada to beat Argentina. So, that will be the final in the Copa America for me. Now, let us switch pages to the Euros. Now, here's the thing. Here's, here's, this. here's, here's the one thing. <laughs> Let's start with the France game versus Portugal. I said that Portugal was going to lose that game against France. I said that Portugal wouldn't have no chance against France. They would not beat France in that game. And they didn't. They go get knocked out. And here's the thing. Portugal is the reason for their own downfall, you know. You notice that? They're the reason for their own downfall. And I'm going to tell you how they're the reason for their own, their own downfall. The other reason for their own fall is because of nepotism and sentimentality. They want to start. They want to start some thirty-nine-year-old guy that is well past it. But to try keep up with records and stats to save face of his career, to 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 put up them legendary numbers because apparently he's close to one thousand goals. So he want to try get as much goals as possible before retire. So them so Martinez keeps starting him. But when you have gunman on the bench like Jota, and I wouldn't, I mean, Ramos is a decent player, but let's not, do, let's, I wouldn't be able to put Ramos in this high intensity type game because he's not the type of player. But I would have started Jota, not only in the game against France, but in the majority of the tournament. Dude, listen, man. I don't care if this Bridging is one of the best players in, 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 in football history, and he is one of the best football players in world history. I'm talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. But this, that is no reason to be starting him. That's no reason to be starting him. You have a competent striker on the bench that plays for Liverpool and he netted 15 goals and his season was cut short due to injury or injuries. Is me. But you want to start this guy that netted 40 odd goals in some league that even a babe would, be, that a, that even a babe would at least get 10 goals in. What's up with that, man? And that's the reason why Portugal never never, never played them best football. Because I'm telling you, Ronaldo has this, the size of Ronaldo's ego is the size of Thanos' head. He doesn't want to get bench. Martinez is shook to bench Ronaldo. He knows that if he, he benches Ronaldo, not only Ronaldo is going to throw a tannundrum fit, but the whole nation is going to be and this and, and and he's going to like be pissed off at the manager Martinez. So he doesn't want that. Cause see that's a, that's the same reason why the former manager got sacked. Or one of the reasons cause him got bench Ronaldo in the World Cup. And they didn't like that. But see that's a ballsy move that I would have made because that was for the betterment of the team, not because I don't like Ronaldo. Why wouldn't I like Ronaldo? Is me why? But when you have competent players on the bench in prime, man, Jota is a good striker. And he's more mobile than Ronaldo. And he can play deep and in play than, better than Ronaldo. Ronaldo has average ball control. He can play with his back turn to go, really. He's not a target man. Jota can play that role. That's not, he's, he's not a target man, but he can fulfill. He can play with his back turn to go because he has the feet to meet the criteria of playing with his back turn to goal. 
Joa Felix, dude, man, hey, this brethren, I was, um, when I first heard of Joa Felix in 2019 when he was at Benfica, I thought that he would become one of the best players in the world. But right now, he's just an average player, man. He's just an average player that's trying to make it at Barcelona. He failed at uh, Atletico Madrid. I'm pretty sure he had his time, at his, his good goals at Madrid, but... He's, he's, he hasn't really proven him. No, he's still a young player, so he can turn his for, his misfortunes around into fortunes. But right now, man, things are not things looking bleaky for this young guy. He shouldn't... He should, he, he, <laughs> when he stepped up to the penalty, you knew that he was going to miss. You just knew his aura, his disposition, his demeanor screamed that. You look at him, this version got his penalty. And I can say, oh, I miss penalty. Where could that be? No, we saw it. We knew that we were going to miss a penalty. Why, why, why are you play acting now? Why? So anyway, man, in that game, France, uh, France, I expected France to get a couple of goals in that game, but we didn't. And um, that's due to, do we, 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 we let, uh, hey, listen, on paper, I know that we're ranked second, but we're playing like we're in 26th place, bro. Is we're not playing like the prime France of 2018. We're not playing like that side. We're not playing like that side. And that's because our our attack is off base, man. It's off base, man. No, Mbappe is not in the best of form in the Euros. And I would not say it's due to his nose injury. But... You know why Mbappe played well uh, in the 2018 World Cup? And it is because he played on the right and on the right wing. When not, he's better running with the ball on the right side than on the left side. I know who's playing up top. Olivier Giroud. I know, I know, I know so Giroud is, is uh, not the same Drew as 2018. But my point is that he plays better with Giroud because he plays off of Giroud when counter-attacking. And he's better attacking on the right hand side. But since you have the players of Dembele, is me and uh, who else plays on the right hand side for France? I can't remember. You know, he wants to accommodate him up on the left hand side, especially the, given the fact that he can cut in and shoot and score. Because he's an inside forward. But our attack has not been the same. And we go score one penalty and one own goal. And we're through to the semis. We're in the semis right now. And we go play against Spain. Spain score goals, man. We cannot, I'm a, as a French supporter, Lebler supporter, we have to score goals. We don't have no top scorer in the, in the tournament. No, I'm not saying that. You see me, uh, being top scorer in the tournament is big because you have to win the tournament to be big. But we, we need to have some order, man. Our, our house is too untidy. You see me, Kante shows his class. There's there's persons saying say, and I agree wholeheartedly that if Kante started in the World Cup final against Argentina, Argentina would not would not have won that World Cup, and that's true. But he wasn't selected for some uh, due to uh, 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 injuries or whatever. But he's showing that he still has it, despite him being this uh, injury prone somewhat. But he hasn't shown injuries in this tournament so far. And long may that continue because we want him for the finals because we we're we going to beat Spain. So, yeah, in terms of our attack, our attack is not, has not, and dude, we have good attacking players, man. It's not like France is trash in terms of attack. We have good attacking players. But there is, we don't have the cohe we don't have the understanding up top. We, have the, we don't have the understanding up top. And although I shouldn't be shook of, of Spain, although I am to a degree because they have scoring goals, but we have to watch out for Spain, bro. Sp I, 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 I'm going to apologize right now. I don't know what I was thinking, but on a Facebook post, I posted that Spain is a bat, meaning they are a bad side. But they are a side to, to coincide with because this is going to lead me to the game against Germany. Them go beat Germany, bro. Them beat Germany. You know how much persons thought that Germany would score Spain? Send home Spain to Spain? And Spain go beat Germany in Germany? Yeah. Like, like Joseph Lou of Spain was saying, I say, him go uh, put 
Tony Crows into retirement, which they did. But <laughs> Germany should have won that game, bro. Germany should have won that game, bro. And see, the downfall is the starting line. What I do, they. This is not Leroy Sonny of 2017 to 2019. Zin. He should not have been starting for 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 for, uh, for Germany, and I told uh, German slash Bayern supporter that on 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 but on Facebook, and we had a back and forth, and he agreed. He said he does. Leroy Sané is 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 not the same player as a couple years back. Leroy Sané's mentality has dropped off. Leroy Sané is not as soothing on the ball as he once was. And he's not, in the, he's not playing in the best position he should be playing. Like in the peak of Lyrus and his career at Man City, he played as a left winger, not on the right. But right now he's playing on the right side, which is not the right choice to me because he's not no right winger. And he should not be starting. But it don't matter no more because Germany go get knocked out. <laughs> but, but, but Germany should have won the game against Spain. Dude, man, hey. The physical, again, not that physicality is the best thing in football because it's not, but man, man, why you go make Spain go beat you like that? Dominate the game too, you know? Let me tell you something. If there is one thing Germany is known for, Germany dominates game in ball possession and attacking. Germany in some portion of that game on Friday was second best. They were behind the eighth ball. They were playing they were playing catch up to Spain. To Spain. This is not 2010 Spain. This is not 2012 Spain. This is a washed up Spain side that is looking to refurbish them football. And they are doing that. Personally, I wanted Germany to go beat Spain. But I was right. I was wrong actually. I was wrong. Because they go prove me wrong. They go beat uh they go beat or uh, they go beat Germany. But they are top, man. <laughs> like I say, man, Sonny shouldn't be starting. Why you never start the young guy? I don't even remember. Ritz, Ritz, whatever his name is, go start him on the right hand side or put him on the left hand side and start Musa on the right hand side, which would be the right choice. And play and play Gondwan. Here's my thing, man. When since we're playing Gondwan as number 10, when was Gondwan ever a number 10? When was Gondwan ever a number 10? In the peak of his career at Man City, man, this Belgian was no number 10. <laughs> he was playing as a C in box to box. But I know that you're trying to accommodate a more defensive minded midfielder alongside with Tony Cross. To, and, and you're trying to squeeze in the talent of, of Gondwan so you want to play him up top. Not up top, but as a number 10. But dude, man, Gondwan is no number 10, man. He's no number 10, man. He's not a number 10. Just because he's a third man midfield that makes a third man midfield run into the box and score goals does not mean he's a number 10. He's not no number 10. So if Germany have them house to go tidy up. Tony Kroos got retired. He's a retiree right now. He's no longer a footballer. Gondwan is still there. Now, this is the time where Germany really needs to repeat. Muller needs to retire. Neuer needs to retire. Ter Stegen been on the bench. And this bridging can't get a sniff of football. Just because now it's starting. Nepotism, experience, whatever it is. Sentimentality, whatever it is. But Germany, I would dare say it is its own reason for them own downfall. The, ma the young manager, man. Sonny should not be starting, man. Not saying that he's a bad player. But he should not be, he's not a starting type player right now anymore, unfortunately. He doesn't have the mental. He doesn't. Mm -mm, he no hits. He no hits strong like that, and that and that sickens me because I actually liked Leroy Sané as a player. Although he played for for my fearsome rivals Manchester City, but I still liked how he played as a footballer. So Germany go get knocked out. Uh, Portugal go get. Dude, Ronaldo man, hey, like I said, bro, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo should, should retire for his own good, bro. I said on my Instagram post that we'll go send his crybaby back to his crib so I'm going to retire. He needs to retire. He needs to retire because it's just like a gambler trying to keep up with his luck. 
You see me? He's trying to, he, he, you know, he's just trying to keep on, keep on, trying to prove say he still got it, trying to win the next slot, trying to win the next game, trying to win the next poker game, if you're in the Mafia. You see me? But that doesn't happen. So he's trying to catch up with his luck. And he's addicted to it right now because he's keep going and going. And it, it comes an addiction. And see, this is the thing that's going to ruin his reputation because he doesn't know when to cut the cord and just move on. This Virgin has accomplished it, you know, win Champions League. He's won everything club level, but he has never won the World Cup. He has never won the World Cup. And he will never win the World Cup because he's not going to play. Dude, I get <laughs> I know the World Cup is in two years' time. But if this Virgin will play World Cup in two years' time, he should not be starting. He should not he should not even be at the World Cup. But in the instance that he is in, well, he shouldn't even be in the squad, even if he's playing football at the time. But in two years time but if the portugal manager whoever it is at the time because we don't know if martinez is going to still be manager at the time for portugal but if him still have ronaldo and pick ronaldo or whoever manager is or pick ronaldo he should not be starting he should not be starting and because of his inflated ego his deflated ego his easily bruised ego Got the best all time. This Virgin want to take everything. Throw in. Free kick from the... Like there was a time I take... This Virgin want to take a free kick from the left hand side. Bro, you're not that type of player anymore. Get your ass in that box and score goals. Let Bernardo Silva or Bruno go cross the ball to you. Or whoever is in that box and him go score it. You should not be taking free kick from that range. You should not. You have never scored a goal in the Euros. And it's about 33 free kicks. Or whatever you took. Man, you should they hey, dude man, hey. You should do that's a that that's an embarrassing stat, you know. What are you trying to prove, man? You have you have done everything in football. Right now it's time for you to go go circle, spend time with the kids, even have more kids, whatever you want to do. Go into the movie business, you know, become a, a, a movie star. It's me. Football in for you right now, bro. Football is the football football, man. It's not for you right now. Messi, Messi can get away with it because Messi is talented to his core. Messi can play midfield, center midfield, box to box, of course, because he's not this defense midfield. He can play center midfield as number ten because he still has it. He has the need, the soft, the soft skills, as I would call. And when I say soft skills, I'm referring to his technical ability, not physical ability. Because, of course, Messi is not the, the fastest the, the fast player as he was. And even if he's still not fast, he can still dribble. <laughs> not as soothing or smooth as fast as he could, but he can still dribble. He has impeccable ball control. He can definitely still pass a ball, still break the lines with a pass. So he still has it. Ronaldo does not have that. One saving grace for this version is finishing, and that's it. And when he doesn't get the ball, man, this virgin is this virgin is like a valuable, not a valuable. He's not. He's like a valueless, a valueless, a valueless. Is that right? Value, yes, a valueless placeholder. He's like a playing with ten men. You don't even know this virgin is playing. See, so yeah, that's my that's oh, it's twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Let me go move on. So that's 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 my thing with Ronaldo, bro. Hey, Pepe, big up to you, bro. Big up to you, bro. You know, playing at 41, and we we'll say it's not easy to play at 41 years of old. You know, you you got you got away with it because you go give away the ball against whoever you give the ball away to. Uh, the game the game before France, and because the person couldn't finish him dinner, Diogo Costa go save the uh save save the shot, and got and got you out of trouble. Got uh, got you out of jail. Got you uh, got you out of got you uh, got out of jail free card. It's me and go, yeah, so, but, you know, that's football, bro. You lose some, you win some. That's football. And that, that's that's life. That's life. You win some, you lose some, bro. It's my bro. Uh, Pepe was inconsolable at, at full time after Portugal lost to France in a penalty shootout, as if they had a chance. But it's me, but, 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 but they, you know, he's a good defender, though. And you know, he, he it's time for him to go call quits. I know say Crows wanted to win on on high terms, 
win Euros. He won the Champions League with Real Madrid, so he wanted to win the Euros on high terms. But he got knocked out by Spain. Pepe wanted to do the Spain the same, but uh, they got knocked out by France. Ronaldo got knocked out by France. So you just have to call quits, man. Um, next game. Yesterday's game, man. England versus uh, Slovenia. Was it against? No, it was against Switzerland. Here's the, he, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the special thing. It's funny because I didn't want England to go far in this tournament, but seeing that they're actually far in this tournament, I wanted them to low-key beat Switzerland because I wanted it to be against the you know big giants like Spain, France, is the Netherlands, and England. But here's the thing, bro. England, man, England, <laughs> it doesn't matter what generation it is. With the players that England has produced over the years, they still can't get them side clicking. They still can't get them side clicking. You me? They have been blessed with world-class footballers over the years. But when it comes down to the international stage, they lost their mojo and can't play football. <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, not to go down history lane, but we've seen that, man. I think they, I, I, I believe they didn't even qualify for the Euros in 96. Bust, and they had good players back then. And they didn't qualify for Euros 96. You know? So they have been, they have had, like I said, but they have had good players over the years, bro. It's me, and this black, this black magic curse is still on them shoulders and they can't get rid of it. But that game against Switzerland, Switzerland put themselves in front um Ebola Embolo score. I like Embolo. I've known Embolo um since two thousand was it two thousand eighteen? He used to be a star player of my Dream League set in twenty eighteen. I'll never forget that. Big up to you, Embolo. I think you're from Cameroon actually. Yeah. You should you should uh play for Cameroon though, but you're playing for Switzerland, so big up yourself. But they he put he put Switzerland in front. And he thinks uh, England up until the ninth, uh, the seventeenth or eightieth minute, they are about, they were like out of the tournament because they didn't see no spark from me. I didn't again. I didn't watch the game, but seeing that they didn't equalize at before half time or even after half time, up until, Saka did an individual beauty with his left foot. Cotin did a did a classic, Aaron Robin goal, left foot both for pose hard and low, one one. And they're back in it. And I mean, that's that, that's been the basic aim of England in this tournament. Them losing and them go equalize and go knock out the side that they, they equalize against and then take the lead. It's me. Um, but in this game, they went to a penalty shootout. Here's the thing with England uh, Saka scored his, his penalty, uh, penalty in the penalty shootout. Well, Cole Palmer was the first one to take a penalty and he scored it convincingly. Um, who else took a penalty and scored convincingly? Ivan Tony, that was a very good free uh, free kick. That was a very good uh, penalty from Ivan Tony. He did what Enner Valencia failed to do against Argentina. I'm go and he didn't go miss his penalty. But in the case of Tony, he, go he did it right and he scored. Um, and so here's the thing about. Sancho did a, Sa, let, let me spend a few minutes on this bro because <laughs> Sancho said um, you know Saka scored his penalty man yeah man you know that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about you know uh, uh, he did it for us you know he did it for me and Rashford you know because in the last in the last year's tournament you see me Saka me you know me Saka and Rashford got me some penalties so for justice for merit's sake you know he scored a penalty for us you know so yeah big up to Saka man you know I know that he did it for me and Rashford hold on Hold your horses. Hold on. What are you talking about? He did for you. And you bro, you are not in the squad. You are not in the squad. He did it for him own self and this and, and for the side, the squad that you're not in. My man wasn't he didn't talk, well I'm not in the mind of uh soccer, but I would like to think so you you guys were not in soccer's mind when you take that penalty. Cause you would have probably missed. <laughs> so why why you think 
the penalty you're begging for the penalty to be yours and Rashford's. Hmm? Oh yeah, you know he did a penalty. Dude, my eight. Relax, man. Calm down, man. I was just about can ask you, go sit down. Why are you doing that for? Why do you think that penalty is for you for? For what? Yes, him go score his penalty. Yes, you know, he got backlash because he missed the penalty three years back. But he equalized. Yeah, not equalized. This brethren, man, he scored his penalty. He scored his penalty. That's not for you or, or, or Rashford. All right? Let's be clear on that. You concentrate on your career because you have no career at Manchester United. You know that. So go, go, go find a side that you're going to and lead the premises and compound of Manchester United. Because this manager not going to start you. And I don't like this manager, but I'm saying that because you're not going to start under this manager. But on this, 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 uh, the, the context what we're talking about right now, man. What you talking about said you, the, the soccer is doing this for you and Rashford. Oh, for what? It's a dog eat dog type game, you know. You have to do what you have to do, and Saka have to do what you have to do alone. This is not a team. Well, it's a team sport, but it's not a team sport to the fox. Say eh, what you do, what you do is for me and for someone else. This is not a relay, man. This is not a relay where you pass some buttons when you read certain. No, man. This is not a relay. So I was baffled by that. I don't even know where that come from. But yeah, England is through against um, Switzerland. Switzerland, Shakiri, you know, Shakiri is always top notch for his country. Uh, in Kanji, I call him Vincent Company's son because he looks like Vincent Company with his big four. But why is this virgin taking first penalty? For what? This virgin fee says composed, looking looking like a regime will say, Yeah, man, go, go, uh, I'm going to put my country in front. Be a bit penalty, this virgin go take and, his, and, and he gets saved. Come on, man, stop playing. <laughs> stop playing. Then Shaw go take. Shaw was never going to take that penalty. Shaw was never going to miss a penalty. Center back for, for Newcastle. He was never going to miss a penalty. He's a good penalty to get. Uh, yeah, actually, he's a good shooter. Uh, if you see his goal against uh, PSG earlier last season. Um, what else? Yeah, Shakir go score his penalty. So the basic emphasis is that uh, Switzerland go get knocked out. Unfortunately, I. Like I said, I wanted Loki England to go through so they could eventually get knocked out by uh, either Turkey or the Netherlands, which is the game I'm going to get to right now as I finish this video. So yes, Netherlands played against uh, Turkey. And again, I didn't watch this game. As of as you would have surfaced, surfaced which was uh, in some... This is the basic emo in some games, man. Own, uh, not, not own goal yet. But they took the lead. Turkey took the lead against Netherlands. And Netherlands was in a hot pot. Uh, Netherlands, they, Netherlands fans. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. I got distracted for a second. So Netherlands, man. Yes, yeah, that's cheeky if you guys are wondering. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, Netherlands actually were 1-0 down at half time. Yeah, they were losing. At half time, and uh, the fortunes, the force went into Netherlands' favor, and they won the game. Was it on penalty? No, it wasn't on penalties. They equalized. Good cross from Memphis Depay, and the fry that plays for Inter Milan, good header. It was a center forward. I think Alan Shearer would have been proud of that header because that was that header bulged the net. It was a very good goal. Um, so it was one one, and the extra time. They got an own goal and Guapo thought he scored the own goal because it, it wasn't Guapo's goal, it was an own goal. And they, they got in front and they won the game. It's long story short. So, Netherlands is going to kick off against England and France is going to kick off against Spain. The final is going to have France, of course, because France is my side and France is going to beat Spain. And England is going to lose against Netherlands. So, it's going to be two of my sides in the final. I used to support Netherlands when Netherlands was at, was at the peak of their power starting with 2010 and from 2010 to 2000 and say about 2015 that's where my love for Netherlands started to fade out 
is me I started to cheat on Netherlands. I started becoming promiscuous with France because I was cheating with France and I was being faithful to Netherlands. Is me. And it came to the point where I have to cut ties with him because I couldn't play both sides of the fence. So I got to choose France. Is me, but I still have a, have a soft spot for Netherlands. Is me. Although they're nowhere near the side that they used to be. With Van Persie, with Robin, with Snyder, with Van Bommel, is me, with the, the uh, uh, Tinga, with Daily Blint. Oh, Daily Blint is still in the side, but he's just not starting. Um, with uh, Depay, Depay is still here. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so, Winaldo is still here. So, they have decent players. They have decent players. Uh, Javi Simons that look like Leroy Sonny, like his Leroy Sonny little uh, baby brother or something. He's a decent, crucial player for, for Netherlands and also Gopo. Gopo is a good player for, for his country. So, yeah, man, that's all I have to say in this game. Um, the semi finals kick off on Thursday. Yes, kicks off on Thursday. Not Thursday, Tuesday in two days' time. Yeah, it kicks off in two days' time. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I'm also looking forward to the Argentina versus Canada again, man. Like I said, I'm expecting Canada to beat Argentina. If Canada go beat Argentina, let us slit the whole on Let us light the whole sun for it because we have a chance of winning the final. If you go beat Argentina, which I believe will happen, but let's let's be cognizant of the fact that Uruguay is still a side to reckon with. And even if Uruguay go lose, Colombia is a side to reckon with. So let's not play up. Let's not play. Let's not don't play this semifinals or the finals for that matter. Comments on below in the comment section. I've been running my mouth for forty one minutes, so it's your time to run your mouth in the in 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 the comment section. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell as well so that you can be notified. But yeah, man, that's all. I, that's all I have to say, man. Um. Yeah, so, again, I expect France to beat Spain. <laughs> Whether it's a penalty shootout. Man, I want to beat Spain in 90 minutes. I don't, man, I don't like penalty shoot. It's not, it doesn't give justice enough. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for some sides, bro, they could have played well for 90 minutes and them just go lose penalty shootout. And on justice sake and merit sake, I think them should have won the game. So that's the cold, cold heart, the cold cancerous side of penalty shootout because it don't mean say just because you're in a penalty shootout means that you're deserving to get to to go to the next round but that's just football so i'm expecting us to beat spain in 90 minutes second i'm expecting england to get knocked out by netherlands yeah mm -hmm. leave your predictions in the comment section below and with that being said i'll see you in the next video podcast and that will be Hmm, I wonder if I should do it Tuesday night. Hmm, I might do it Tuesday night. Definitely Wednesday or Tuesday night. Look out for my video then. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.